This is Ask Sarah, where you send me a design question and I give you an answer. Okay, today's Ask Sarah question that I'm gonna be answering comes from Colleen in London, Ontario, Canada. How do you know if it's cost effective to reupholster a piece of furniture versus buying a new piece? I have a great chair and a half that's downfilled with an ottoman, which was the favorite chair in the house, but the fabric is very worn and it needs help. Okay, this is an important question. The first thing we have to start by talking about is, is this the ideal piece of furniture for you? Do you love this chair? And does this chair fit perfectly into your room scheme? And do you still like the styling of the chair? Reupholstering a piece of furniture, a chair and a half, is probably gonna run you between five and $700 just for the cost of the upholstery. Now you have to factor in the cost of the upholstery fabric. The upholstery fabric, you're probably gonna need between eight and 10 yards of fabric, and let's assume that you're gonna find it for about $20 a yard. So now you're at another $200 for the fabric. You could be in for as much as $1,000 just for the cost of the reupholstery. The reason I mention these numbers is because if at the end of the day you're going to have a chair that you absolutely love, that's absolutely perfect and all you could dream it would be, then it's definitely worth reupholstering it, especially if it's good quality. I often buy vintage pieces and have them reupholstered because, first of all, I find that you can buy vintage pieces of old upholstered furniture really inexpensively. This is the kind of thing I like to pick up at consignment shops, at flea markets, at garage sales, tag sales, you name it, I'm always on the hunt for a bargain. But the reason I buy them is because I like the way they look. I like the sculptural lines of the piece of furniture. And I find that it's something unique and different from what I could find anywhere else in the marketplace. Using vintage furniture is what allows me to create rooms that look unique and different. I don't want my rooms to look just like everything came out of a brand new catalog or out of a furniture warehouse. That's what vintage furniture can do for a room and how it can help make your home look different. So before you upholster an existing piece of furniture, make sure you ask yourself whether this is the perfect statement and the best expression that you want for the room. If not, I'd suggest you take all the money that you would spend on reupholstery and look at whether there's a new solution in the marketplace that allows you to get the look you want for a better price. Good luck.